Good morning. Good morning, beautiful people. We're out there living a good life. How are you guys doing today? I tell you what, I am feeling a whole lot better. I'm positive, actually. Let me see just a second. How's everybody doing this morning? Come on. Chat. I know you want to chat. Don't you want to chat and find out who's on the chopping block today? In other words, who is going to get their personal message from me to unsubscribe and leave? Come on. Everyone say hello. It'll be fun. It'll be a surprise. Come on. What? Hey, there we go. Hey, Army Vet. What's up? Right, one down, five to go. No, don't worry. I don't mean you, Army Vet. Not in that sense. Oh, now we got three more people. So, yeah. Seven. Come on, you seven. Say hello. Come on. Now we got nine. Come on. Say hi. Please. Otherwise, I'm going to have to do it on the desktop. It's going to be boring. Oh, come on. Don't you want to find out if you're Someone who thought you were safe talking shit and speaking shit about me and think I'm not going to get it texted to me. You think everybody is on board with this campaign that's bullshit? I hope not. Because that must mean why no one else is commenting. Because they're scared. Because they know they've been coming here and talking shit. While I'm asleep. Oh, there's one. Katana. Goodbye. Well, now you can't say nothing else either. Yeah. I've been getting a lot of text messages about you. Took your wrench away just to see if maybe, maybe. Nope. Looks like, if anything, that may have made you more mad. <laughs> oh, shit. Wrong email. Anyways. Yeah, it's like that here. I haven't seen you. I mean, I know you've talked about me, Tony. You said that, uh, you know, if I blow up, which you don't think I'm even going to blow up, which that's not the whole point of me coming on here was to blow up. She's one of my biggest supporters and sympathizers. Then why do I have somebody sending me text messages every night while I'm asleep and other lives? Her along with other people talking crap about me. Jason, whoever, you're not a supporter of mine. You know you're not. If you are, then say what's going on with you is BS. Or, or, or you can't say it all because it's too complicated. Right, right, right. Well, it's not to some people. What's up, Marty? How you doing? I'm not kicking Tony out or nothing, you know, uh, other than what Tony said on video, which at least he was man enough to, you know, or excuse me, not man enough, but brave enough, you know, and vocal enough to say it straight up. You know, he doesn't run off to someone's live chat while Square's asleep and not live and do it. At least I haven't gotten text messages about Tony. Yeah, I, I don't really care. But yeah, it's going to be like that because, um, uh, no, this is just not the channel for fake people. 
Okay. You can show me, you know, for a fact. Yeah. I thought Ford Dooley was in here supporting me, too, and Duster Bomar. So now, so now you see, guys, why it's stupid that these people who have made these things, like I said, uh, get mad at me for thinking they may have cornballed me or theorizing they may be behind this or that. Can you guys see now why I can't tell? wasn't on yesterday while he was loving stuff. Dude, the, there's no bipolar different personality. I'm me. Getting ready to go. I got training at uh, 8.30. I got training at 8.30 with Brownie. Yeah. You got to go to physical therapy? All right, be careful. Love you. Yeah, so I don't know what you guys want to think or act like. I'm waiting uh, until my dog trainer comes online, and I'm going to mute this. And I'm going to let her, if she wants to say anything to you, I'll say something. Mm, yeah. Maybe Bim Stick Bug. Definitely ain't as crazy as some of these people. Yeah, you know, people want to call me insane or whatever. No, I haven't smoked yet. See, that's the thing. Another thing, Tony, you guys think that, oh, uh, you know, I smoke too much weed or whatever. That's like literally the last leg that some of these people can stand on along with. Oh, his, his doctor must be a crook. Uh, he must be manipulating her. He's such a good actor. Oh, my God. I can't believe he's on YouTube. His talents would be so best used elsewhere. Uh, look, if the person that's texting me right now, which I can't read your text messages, if you want to come up here or whatever, or you want to say in the chat who you are because you're not worried about people knowing, do it or I'm not gonna you know I'm, I'm not gonna reveal who that person is but there's somebody that a lot of you are all chummy with all chummy 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 good 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 vibes positive gang positive gang gang with that have been sending me this shit every night remember I, I first I got told by some people oh oh share your cash app bro because I was telling them about how I wish I could do better streams and stuff on my laptop. Share your cash app. I said, well, I don't want to be thinking like I'm begging or trying to scam. Oh, no, it ain't about that, man. Everybody needs a little help. So I posted, said about the computer issue. Next thing you know, <laughs> man, as soon as he gets a little computer or whatever, he's going to blow up and take off, blah, 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 e-begging and shit. Well, you don't see my cash app up no more, do you? Think I need money from any of you? Really? Oh, let me guess. You, th you think I draw a government check? Keep guessing. Keep guessing. Shout out to the real deal. Because the real deal is the real deal. And either the real deal isn't texting me, or they are, which I'm pretty sure they are. And you guys even want to give him flack over it. What's up with that? What's up with him voicing his opinion? Rules for thee, but not for me. Oh, and I'll say it again. Danny, just because I said the word creepy, which here, I'll tell you what I meant it as. Because as soon as I Googled it earlier and put it in the title short, 
causing an unpleasant feeling of fear or unease. Not the P word. So if you hear crazy and define P word automatically or assume the person saying that to you so subtly, something's wrong with you, dude. And I don't mean like that. I mean something mentally. Maybe you need to go see a shrink too. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. This is not medical advice. Anything said in here is speculation based for entertainment and educational purposes only. Square work media. Do not take anything as serious or fact. Consult your nearest professional always for professional advice. What's up, Sam, my fucking champion? What's up, dude? Sam, you know you're cool. You ain't never done shit to me, dude. Or here, someone, here, disprove that. Tell me about how I'm crazy and paranoid with that, too. No, I just ate my breakfast that y'all saw in my short that I uploaded. If you haven't, you go check it out. I always make sure to eat a live breakfast every morning. Now I gotta go to my dog training website and get ready to wait. To, and then you're repetitive, blah blah blah. Yeah, I'm repetitive because people keep trying to drown me out. I'm gonna keep being repetitive, Mr. Dale Tanner. <laughs> Canine rescue, or another one of your buds or friends. Why are you threatening people now with uh? Why are you threatening people now, Kana? Saying you got all the inside scoop on YouTube, whatever. It's not because that. Y'all's little plan didn't work, right? Couldn't be. Oh, getting ready to do training. I'm going to go ahead and roll up so I have it ready to roll after I'm done training. But uh, I just took my uh, depression medicine. Two Tylenol and an Ativan. No Suboxone yet. It's not time for it. Yeah, people, I take Suboxone and I get more than the regular allotted two or recommended two a day because I have chronic pain syndrome. So, again, I'm repeating myself because I got all the screenshots from somebody else while I was asleep. You guys think I'm probably awake all night spying on you and recording you, don't you? I know you do. That's why channels have went down and y'all migrated to somebody random's channel talking about the stuff like I, you know. That's what's up, Sam. Hey, I'm gonna let me highlight that. Y'all make sure to go like and subscribe to Little Motherfucking Sam Champion. He's a good guy, man. He really is. I don't even know him that well, you know. But I know him a little bit. And uh I I mean I pray and I hope. You know, because I, I am sometimes way too trusting and stuff with people. But I pray and I hope that he is. And my subconscious and my gut tells me he is. Got me a counselor lined up. Now more regularly, since I can't, you know, see my psychiatrist maybe as often or whatever. Some people probably want me to. 
That's why I was coming on here saying everything. Sometimes, guys, I just need someone to talk to. But that's all right. I'm, I get it now. This is YouTube where, you know, we, we, we can't have any new innovations or, or things different from the status quo. We, 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 we don't, you know, we, we gotta, we gotta listen to what, what everybody wants, you know, we gotta, uh, it's not broadcast yourself anymore, like the old days, it's broadcast what's cool. What's good on the street, man? Acting like a bunch of high schoolers, for real. Bunch of high schoolers picking on the same kid who wasn't diagnosed until way too late in his life. Yeah, that was fun. That was fun always being the odd one, the weird one that didn't fit in. And knowing it because it's your genetics and other things, things you had no control over. I'm crazy. I, I, I don't belong to no fraternity or nothing. I was just acting the whole time. <laughs> Load of horse shit. Oh, you were, Marissa? Well, I saw you in one of those text message screenshots, too, talking about me. Some of these people actually thought it, you know, hey guys, if we just bombard him with this stuff, he'll grow a pair. That's their logic. Some old, outdated, Pavlovian style of therapy from people that aren't even my therapist or doctors. Reverse Pavlovian. Hell, I don't know what you want to call it. You know what? I've talked about that with my psychiatrist if the marijuana is affecting me negatively. You know what we said that's affecting me negatively the most from it, scientifically speaking, is the fact from smoking I may be developing some plaque and stuff and uh, later down the line could cause heart problems. But as far as mentally, no. Mm -mm. Nope. But I get you think it may can because there's so much stuff out there and it's, you know but unless it's a most up-to-date current peer-reviewed or research or something the ama or apa or whatever goes by then it's just speculation oh okay marissa well if that's the case then maybe i just misinterpreted yours thank you for your concern There's nothing really to explain, Army Vet. I mean, people don't want me to be repetitive, right? So we're going to make this session six minutes with my trainer. We're going to see if she wants to share anything about you, uh, about your boy Square to you guys. Considering she's been training with me and meeting with me since before I met, came on YouTube. And she has even went out of her way extended sessions talk to me longer to try to help me even herself because she's a good person and she knows i love my dog she knows i love him with all my heart spent all of any any money i could have saved the past few months on a car or anything to help me get forward in life i sacrificed because i found this dog on the street and i always wanted a dog growing up and I didn't know how badly I could benefit from one. So I'm glad that I've got Brownie. I don't want to make fun of him. The little soul readings, of course, that's a gimmick. He's not doing no soul readings. Those are, uh, the, why do you think I, I had to say I had to have his uh, name or whatever, a person's name? It's called numerology, people. 
But if y'all want to call that paganism, whatever, go ahead. That's it, Sam. Okay. Last uh, four digits. Oh, uh, that's his house number. You gone, Grandpa? Give me a minute. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not going. Yeah. Love you. Brownie is in here all the time. I know. He, he knows his training. He's been wondering where uh, Miss, Miss What's Your Name's been. She's going to be here ready in six minutes. Four, seven, three, four, seven, three, seven. Yeah. Four, seven, three, seven. That's exactly right, Sam Champion. Say it exactly more for the people in the back. Not Marissa. Just to be specific, I don't want her thinking down her or anything. But instead of wanting to be respectful or whatever towards everybody and people regardless of gender, but even more especially of women... If you got any other reason itself, it's this reason, guys. It's because they are the arbiters of life. They are the teachers, the mothers. They bring so much value into this world, just like every other human being. So respect them because of that. Don't do it because any other gender, superficial idea the media and stuff puts out there. Well, she seems like it. I mean, she straightforward talks to me and everything just now. Yeah. I think you're right, Sam. Yep. Me too. Session starts in two minutes. Oh, Lord. I'll show you guys. Just so you don't think I'm making up my training or anything. I mean, next thing somebody will say, oh, he ain't training that dog. That dog ain't no service dog in training. He just bought a best off Amazon and it's pretending for you to. No, I didn't get it from Amazon. Got it from uh, more. What would you call it a uh, phrase? Uh, home, local, family type business? I'm worried about it. He, he don't ever go without answering the phone like that, Grandpa. Oh, my God. Will you guys please say a prayer for somebody close to me that I've worked for and they, they're who pays, you know. Please say a prayer for him. He's 92 years old. He's my most recent former or well still private home health care client and he's not answering the phone since yesterday we tried to go by his car was there thought maybe he just you know went out somewhere or was sick whatever so I called him last night no answer left a message now we just call again no answer well, it might it he he did usually say before I forgot now that uh 
Um, the, uh, you know who comes by his house until about 10 or 11. So I'm going to wait till about 11. And if he don't answer by 11, I've, I've got to call the police. I've got, I've got to. And I don't want one of his friends to find him dead. I don't want Carolyn or anybody to find him, Grandpa. All right, I won't call the police then. I mean, just, I, I, yeah, I mean, I, I didn't like when people, well, that was uh, false, but I'd be actually calling to check on his welfare in this situation, but uh, I'm not going to do that. Uh, yeah, I'll wait a little bit later. I'll try him again. All right, Jason. I got to be honest with you. I haven't gotten any text or anything about you or shots or screenshots with you included saying anything. So I want to take you at your word for it, man. Because I do know that you're one of the, you're like me. You, you're so honest and you want to tell everybody this full, the same understanding that you have in your head that you type it out and try to explain as much as possible. That's what I do. And then people say, what's with that paragraph shit? Okay, Miss, what's her name's calling me? Hold on one second. CC, hey, I can't hear you. Hold on just a second. Maybe because of my, uh, can you speak now? I can, yeah, I can, I can hear you, but I can't see you. You can't see me? Oh, oh, wait, hold on. There it is. That's why you can't see me. How you doing? Okay. <laughs> Do you mind, um, I'm running a stream. You know what I talked about with you, with the people that were bullying me and stuff online? Yeah. I'm running a stream so they can, they're, they can't see, but they can hear. I wanted to let them listen in on our session. And at the end, if you want to say anything about me and what I've talked with you about it, I would really appreciate it, but you don't have to. Is that okay with you? Um, I'm a little bit confused. <laughs> so I'm running, so um, I'm running a live stream. Remember, uh -huh. when, remember I told you the that I was having issues on YouTube? Yeah. Well, I'm running a live stream because it's still been ongoing. Um, I filed for, a, you know, what, and and I, I've taken care of all the, the personal stuff. But um, some people really, I think, don't believe that I'm trying to train my dog as a service dog. I think they don't think I have any mental illness or anything. And I just wanted a third on you know unbiased someone that's not on the youtube stuff to give their opinion you know what i mean that's all okay. i'm saying yeah you don't have okay. to say your name so, you don't have to say your name or anything <laughs> right but uh so let's go uh, on with training first let me get brownie for yeah. you uh, uh, did you see the homework i did file i know i've been bad on it there's been a lot of stuff going on <laughs> the homework um so it's good Hold on, let me uh, just hold on just a second. Okay, let me set this up so I can get Brownie, Brownie in here. Brownie, come here. Have you been having any challenges with any of the homework? Brownie has gotten to where he's eaten a little less frequently. He is getting a little bit more stubborn with commands, some commands, like uh, go to your spot. Um, he's amazing on uh, circles. You know, he's amazing on circle. He's amazing on sit. He's been pretty good even with lay down. Um, he went out the other day and I let him out. I guess left him out there just a little bit too long because a cat came by and he ran off chasing it. And then when he came back, he, he this fully immaculate, just washed two days before coat was covered and all wet and soggy and dirt. He just went through mud and everything else. I literally had to pick him up and take him and take him directly to the bathtub and just drop him right in the bathtub. 
<laughs> and he's like, ah, and I'm like, no, you're getting another bath. You can't wall her around like that in the house. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's cute. Um, um, okay, so let's figure out what's going on with the spot Q. Um, Let me get my treats. Have you changed the spot at all? Uh, well, it's still, uh, you know, his bed. Let me get, make sure your angle's set up good where you can see. Uh, Brownie, come here. Brownie, sit. Go to your spot. Well, you just like a car that don't make the same noise when you take it to the mechanics, aren't you? He did that right on cue for you. I told you he's been missing you. There you go, Brandon. <laughs> Good boy. I feel like this happens every time, right? Yeah. Every time you have a challenge and then I get on and you do it when I'm watching and he's like, okay, I'm going to be a star student. Yeah, because he, he, he recognizes that face. He's like, when I see that face, I know I'm about to get a crap load of food. <laughs> Very true. There's a lot of traits involved. Um, let's do that one more time. Right. Come here, Bubba. Come here, baby. Good boy. Good job, boy. Hey, Brownie. Can you go to your spot. You're so good, boy. You're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. Is that the same bed or is it a different bed? Oh, that's the $100 Z bed. <laughs> you know, because I, I, okay. I, I don't care about my animal at all, you know. Right, because who, who would buy their dogs an expensive bed if they didn't care about them? Yeah. Um... So, oh, um, been, I mean, I'm not, I've been oh, keep, I have to keep this closed, the, uh, the, uh, okay. whatchamacallit, the, the pet taxi, because what, you see him sitting in his bed there, watch this, Brownie, go to your crate. We shut your good boy, oh, he didn't even sit, <laughs> Brownie, go back to your crate. You shut your good boy, you shut your good boy, come on, come on. Oh, bless his soul. See so what happens? Does he kind of stay in there? Or what's going on? Well, if uh, there's a loud noise from outside, thunder or anything, if my grandpa comes in, you know, we used to live in that big house, so sometimes we have a bad habit of trying to yell across the house for one another. So, uh, you know, just little things like that. He, I have been trying to get him used to the Dremel. I mean, I, I put out four or five treats with the thing running, letting him sit there and eat it and everything else. But the other day, it was like his nails were getting so much bigger to the point like when he jumped on Grandpa the other day, he actually hurt Grandpa. He was like, ow. He's like, it felt like he was stabbing me. He just jumped on with them sharp nails. He's like, how long has this been? I was like, well, I'm trying to be cut one little by little. He said, well, heck, all the, the others will be too grown by the time you get to them. You'll have to go back and cut the other one. <laughs> so the other day I said Brownie I was like uh, I just I held him tight like a hug and I just said hold on and I just real quickly just G -g 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 -g. and he for the most part sat there and licked me and it was only when um, he got out of my lap and tried to get away and I you know had his paw like when he wants his paw to be released he'll go you know, and I'm like okay okay Mm -hmm. I try not to cause any discomfort. Okay. And I know the Dremel's not hurting him because his nail is bleeding. I'm not cutting the quick. Right. So, you know, he just, he won't like clippers. He wouldn't like the Dremel. And if I had the the money to pay to take him to get, you know, filed every month, I would. But I'm really, <laughs> really, what's the word, stretched on budgets. Yeah. Um, so he, he ran into the crate and kind of, he's scared, like he scares a loud sound, um, it's, or... like, it's like his wolf's den, you know, that we call it. Yeah. It, it, that's where he goes into retreat or just to be comfortable, you know, if he's just bored sometimes, mm -hmm. but I, I like to keep it closed to keep him 
on the bed out here to make him feel secure. Because mm -hmm. usually he'll sleep in his bed, but unless it's storming or something, he'll jump up in the bed and he'll sleep next to me. Okay. And my grandfather was a little nice and fed him a little bit of deli meat turkey and we gave him some barbecue here recently with some of his dry food meal. Just, you know, just a little reward, you know, a little, hey, we love you. We're thinking about you. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. And now... He's gone to back to where he wants to eat the dry food when he wants to. And every time we start to eat, he's. He just, he did right there. And he just jump up in the bed. I mean, I look at him and I said, Brandon, you got a whole, you got an ice cube in your water tray. Most dogs don't even have that. I mean, you got the spot and thing. He won't eat it. I mean, well, he will, but he. I think he's just had a taste of uh, beef jerky and human food a little too much lately. He wants it. Okay, so he started begging a little bit. Uh, begging, yeah, sort of. Not like jumping up, but, you know, sitting right next to you, being, you know, yeah. an extra shadow type thing, that type of begging. So um, when your grandpa gave him the deli meat, was, he, was your grandpa eating yes. food at the same time? He is preparing food. Okay. Uh, yeah, he goes up to him when it, or he'll go up to me or him when he's preparing or I'm preparing food. Um. Oh, so this is usually eat. where um the begging behavior starts to happen, and it can actually increase a little bit too. Um, it's not necessarily because of human food. Obviously, human food smells delicious. So, all right. So most of our dogs still know that, like, it's something like it smells like he has something really good, right? Um, but it's about where and how we give it to them so it's okay obviously to give brownies some deli meat and stuff like that but to help kind of lessen a little bit of this intensity of the begging so it doesn't get any worse from where it's at um i would start just giving him the scraps that i want to give in his food bowl where he eats his food yeah so every single time that he gets any types of food it's always presented in his food bowl now obviously outside of treats um so that way he knows that he's not getting anything from you while you're actually eating or while you're actually cupping food. He just gets his food and his food bowl where he eats his food. How okay. you been? Huh? How you been? I thought you were going to kick me off for missing the other appointment the other day. Oh, I was no. like, twice in a row? I was like, oh my <laughs> yes, God. it was twice in a row. She's about to penalize me. <laughs> No, no, you're good. Um, I figured there was something going on. Um, so, let's see. Um, his eating. Has anything happened that changed his eating habits? Mm. What do you think, Brownie? I've been giving you a little bit of that peppered beef jerky, haven't I, too much? Mm. And that is uh, that can be a little spicy for a dog. <laughs> he loves it. He loves it. No, but uh, he's been taking his supplements every morning, along with his 0. 0.25 milliliters of CBD oil, and uh, okay. it's not affecting him too much. He's still very hyper and chasing microdot around outside and taking her bone from her, and she's like five, six years older than him, so she's always behind him because he can run so fast, with, you know, she's a lot older. She don't want to play like he still does. Like, this dog still acts like he ain't fixed, I swear. Yeah. I haven't seen any slowdown, any any weight gain, nothing since the surgery. Yeah, you don't really see that many changes. Because um, a lot of behaviors aren't always driven by the testosterone levels. Um, some can be. Um, and he's still, I mean, it's been, what, like a month, two months? A month no, and a half? July. Uh, it was July uh, 10th he had his surgery. Okay, so it's been a yeah, month. Um, so, yeah, he still has some um, testosterone that's still getting rid of his body. It's just kind of slowly, whatever was left over from before the neuter, before the snip snip. Um, he's he's, he's going to have. He's healed perfectly. Uh, I've been putting. Uh, yeah. I've even been putting some. Uh, uh, elder, I think it's got the elderberry and like it's got elderberry frankincense. It's like essential oil type of 
pain salve that I've used and it always works and makes my skin feel great. So I just got a little dab on my finger the other night and I put it around his area and it, you know, a few days later I noticed that some of the uh, parts that still appear dark, you know, they're gone. Well, now he's fully like the skin's back like he never had anything done. The, the scars. Yeah, are he should there. be fully healed at this point. Yeah. Um, you want to be careful with some of the essential stuff. Just um, our pets can be very sensitive to some essential oils. Um, not all, but just being cautious there too. Um, that it can cause some uh, burns and reactivity to their skin. Mm -hmm. mm. Mostly cats, but also some dogs. And they love cat yep. Yes. <laughs> um. Okay, so, um, I mean, he, he's doing spot for me. <laughs> oh, let me go get his, uh, his, his bone, his bigger reward treat, just a second. Okay. Brownie, why are you in here looking out the window? He's in here looking out the window. I guess he thinks it's already done with her. <laughs> I mean, you got to talk to him. All right, right? He knows I got his little bone treats. All right, here. Let's do this for everybody. Come on. No. See it. Come here. See it. Got to position you a little bit. There we go. It's better. See it? Good boy. Circle. Good boy. Boy, good boy, good boy. Good boy. Good. Oh. How was that? Yeah, that was good. Um, and obviously, like, make sure he can do it from any area, too. Like, also being in front of you, being oh, on the other side the, of you. He does it in the kitchen. He's done it. Yeah. I think he's even done it outside once now. Um, good. Um, outside is definitely where we want it to happen, right? Because he's getting ready for that heel position. So we have his focus and attentiveness. He's on your side. Let's go for a walk. Um, so how has his, have you been taking him for walks lately or not really? I have, but I'm going to be honest. The, the frequency changed when we moved and all this other stuff going on, but definitely. And also because of the, you know, is having dogs right outside and having this open area where he can run. You know, you know, he's pretty, you know, he gets, I know he's getting his exercise, but you're right. I still should need to be taking him on walks more than I should have than I've been. Yeah. Um, I want to make sure that he still has his leash manners in place. Right. Yeah, um, yeah, have he, you been practicing any of the heel stuff? No, to be honest with you, I haven't. That's one thing we haven't practiced. It's probably the only thing we haven't practiced. Okay. So I want to go back to heel for sure. Um, and I want, I mean, ideally make sure that he has a, a good foundation inside first. Then you know, you know do the, it outside. You know the lead that we use is just a straight, that gray straight lead? He's got a habit of chewing on it. And it's such a fragile lead that, I mean, he chews it on as a nervous thing because of his anxiety, like a bone. Uh -huh. And so he's making, you know, it, you know, sooner or later, I'm worried it's going to get so weak in a spot that if he pulls or something, it might snap, you know, and go, not that he would run away, but, you know, I just, and I haven't been using the, the expensive lead, you know, because it's got the, the anti pull thing. And that's even more of a distraction close to his head. And he doesn't like things close to his head. <laughs> Unless it's me or my grandpa. <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, how soon does he start grabbing the leash when you put it on? Uh, sometimes, sometimes it may just be like a quick little, like, he bites and, like, knows that it's there. But it's like when we're in the car sometimes and I leave it attached, even when he's sitting there and relaxing, he'll see that that thing's attached. And he's like, you know, I guess like with the collar, 
you know, even with the surgery, you know, he wants to lick it. He wants to get it gone. You know, he just don't like it. Okay. And plus, I, I'm not going to lie. Most of the time when we go like on a trip to the grocery store or something, he comes for a ride. You know, I don't feel the need to lead him up because he, he walks right beside me as if he is perfectly trained and healed without a leash. You know, he stays to the left unless a distraction happens and he still will get back to the left. You know, he's a very, unless he's engaged in chasing a squirrel or biting on something, that's the only time he uh, hesitates on the call cue. And he don't, he's not really hesitating. It's like he's focused on something else and he'll hear our whistle, look, and then we'll be waiting to see if he's coming and he'll keep going and we whistle and he'll look again. And then finally when we whistle twice, he's like, Oh, okay, okay. You know? <laughs> yeah. He gets out there and gets busy playing. Yeah. All okay. that he gets along great with the other dog. It's just uh he's sort of a little abusive to the elder dogs. He tries to always get them to play and they're like, Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah. Um the good thing is, um, I don't know what I was going to say there. I don't know what happened to my brain. Uh, it's all right. So, it what, I mean, no, I mean, no, I think yeah, the good thing is that he's, um, he's good doing good with the other dogs and stuff. Like, I mean, he generally stays with you, um, there too. Um, obviously the leash has to kind of be on, right? Um, especially when we're on public, there's a lot of places that have leash laws. Um, as well as for safety reasons, in case he does, like, something catches his attention that causes him to really stare off, and for some reason, we cannot get him back. Um, so there's a lot of safety reasons for it. It doesn't necessarily mean we're going to use, like, we never want to use the leash to scare him or direct him. No. It is just meant to be there. Um, the leash is, like I said, it's just there, right? With no tension on it, it's slack, just making sure that he stays um, within your area. Um, so I want to do some desensitization exercises with the leash, right? Kind yeah. of the same concept here as we're talking about with the Dremel, but obviously I'm not using the Dremel. So we're going to use treat rewards. We're going to use cons. We're going to use lick mats. We're going to give them chews. Um, while I drop a few treats, I'm going to put the leash on. I'm going to clip it off while he's actively eating. I'm going to do this constantly on, off, on, off, just getting him more comfortable with getting the leash on and off. That the leash is not anything to be worried about or nervous about, right? Um, once he's um, done eating the treats, I'm going to leave the leash off a little bit, right? Um, I'm going to have him drag it around. I might even do a little play session with him while he's wearing that leash. So um, that way I keep him engaged. And I want you constantly. to know that what I'm going to do, uh, so this week, and I'm not even just going to say it, but at, at the end of this week, he should be, um, you know, like, I don't think he's went down in any levels. I just think he's the uh, the strength has died down because he had the surgery time. He's had a lot of breaks here recently. Understand? Yeah. So, and if my granddad questions why we're still got you for our services, I'll remind him. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, yes. not even that much though. Uh, but but now he's talking about long term. Like how um how much if things uh go now normally from here on out, how much longer do you think we may have? Just so I can give him a ballpark. Right, it's really going to be hard to say because it depends on how consistent you guys both are with the training, um, as well as how well Brownie is. So responsive or receptive to the training, right? Yeah. Um, ideally, it's generally um, between eight to ten weeks um, to go over everything, but um, there's obviously like, and that's say like initially getting that foundation. Then you get, guys will start working on stuff outside of uh, us meeting up. Well, right? We got we got the the bedrock, or we broke bedrock with the first yeah. class. Now we're in the second one. And then after yes. we, and then after we get this one, then on the third one, we can get focused on the more personal stuff and all that, right? Yeah, we can. So it, the course is really catered to you, uh, like to you and Brownie. So whatever pathway we're taking is going to be based off of where um, we want Brownie to be at the moment. Yep. Okay. Um. 
So yeah, I want to work off of the citation to the leash. I'll add that into the homework as well. Um, so because you did trim his nails, right? Um, I what I ideally would suggest that you can do. I can still work on the sensitizing into the sound of the Dremel, like just the vibration right now, because his nails are already trimmed and short. But in a, a week or two, I want you to start doing one toenail at a time. Okay? So you're constantly doing one little zip on one toenail on each session. Maybe you have three sessions that you're doing the Dremel in a day, right? So you get three toenails, three toenails a day, or even maybe it's just one toenail a day. That's okay too. But if you keep up with that, um, they shouldn't be growing very long um, to where we have that big gap as we're getting more and more comfortable to it. Understood. Okay. Um, have, have you been practicing the settle? Oh, yeah. Is Brand he able to settle on cue now, or is, are we still working up to that? I think we're still working up to it. Brownie, come here. He just came from the Grandpa's room. He likes to take his toy now and go in Grandpa's room and uh, sit on Grandpa's. You know, whenever I don't have my uh, door sealed from whenever I'm yeah. vaping or whatever, he'll go out to the rest of the house now and he likes to go and sit on other. You know, he, he's a lot more comfortable and he really loves to go in there and sit on his recliner when he's gone and stand up on his arm and just look out the window. He just loves okay. it. Okay. Because the windows are so far up in this house. And there's not like, it's not like the other house. He could almost like just a little stool. He could be right up there, head level at the bottom of the window. Now he's got to get on a chair and look over. Yeah. And whenever uh, this window's open in here, you know, the dogs behind here, we got a pit bull, a uh, German shepherd and stuff. They come out at night. I think they got the dog door and stuff. And uh, sometimes they're out there barking or whatever. And he'll get up and go, rawr, rawr. you know, his very few moments of audio that he ever does yeah. <laughs> i don't know why he's like that i can't get him to speak i sat there maybe for 15 minutes one day and just sat here like this I said please speak please and he just looked at me like this <laughs> i was like just so do you know <laughs> um do you know what caused him like do you know anything that will make him bark no, what what does is strangers, you know, and, and only strangers that appear in a big, dark, bigger type of way or in animate objects. So, okay, whatever, you know, his first three years before I rescued him, I don't know what he went through, but that, you know, it's obviously some event. It may have just been one event. It may have been a repeat event. I have no idea. I, I mean, but he acts like, you know. He acts like uh, it's almost every day more and more and more. He gets more comfortable around us, or, well, he's already comfortable around us, but he gets more comfortable realizing, what am I trying to say, that that he's found a home. You know what I mean? I think yeah. part of him still is wondering, is this transitory or whatever, you know? Of course, we can't think like a dog or know how a dog thinks, so. Okay. Okay. Um, so, let's see, so, um, it's hard if we can't, like, get him to bark, right, if we don't uh, know how to get him to bark, um, it's generally how we would teach a dog to speak, right, we kind of make a sound that we know our dogs will start barking, and, um, we'll, like, entice them that way, or we'll get them excited during play, when they might start barking there, too, incorporating that speak into that. The, the um, only reason why I worry about the bark is not for the sake of being able to speak. It's for the service. Right. It's for the service aspect that uh, in the unlikely and unfortunate event I were to pass out or anything, he can alert somebody. You know. Okay. Right now, he might would do it by just going to another person if I'm down, but I don't know if he'll bark. But then again, if he was in that situation, he thought something might was wrong with me. He might actually bark. I don't know. You know, but as a general yeah. rule, it's not bad for him not to bark because he's not bothering nobody. Right. He's not <laughs> yes. No, it is true. So um, I will um, notate everything down. So I want you to definitely continue. Let's see what we can do with heel, leash, the sensation, and spot. Um, continue with the Dremel. Just do the vibration for now for the next one to two weeks and then start doing that one toenail at a time 
Um, for next session, um, I'm going to be here Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday next week. Okay. Um, I have some later appointments, like 10.30 p.m. If you feel that uh, nighttime works better for you. Monday at 10.30? Yep. Let's do, let's do Monday at 10.30. I have been somewhat of a night owl lately. And it's, yeah, p.m. <laughs> 10.30 p.m. Okay. Yeah, I usually <laughs> I try to go to bed before midnight if I can. Okay, yeah, no problem. Um, so let's do that, and we'll see how that goes. Um, keep me updated as much as you can, um, and oh, I'll see you guys again on Monday, you, okay? What do you think of, of, of all this? Please, let me get your opinion. If you don't oh, know. on the stream? Yeah, like, what do you think of all these people that are, are harassing me and stuff all because I want to go on a social media platform and do my own thing without being criticized or harassed by thousands, hundreds? Right. Of, I mean, um, they, they act like it's not a a effort, but, I mean, apparently it, it's a click effort, group effort. I don't know I what group it is. I think it's none of their business what you really do, like, you know. Um do I have mental yeah. health issues? Do I have mental health issues? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, you know what I'm saying. You do. Yes. Um, no. So, I mean, like I said, none of their business what you're doing. Um, whether you did have mental health issues or not, um, you're not doing anything against any other people. You're doing your own thing. This is your own um thing if they decide to go on it and watch it then that's on them they shouldn't criticize anything somebody, they can is, exit out at any point in time. somebody keeps calling me a little boy and i said you know that's that's kind of creepy that you keep calling me a little boy and you know i'm in my 20s and yeah. they said they said oh you called me the p word now you gotta apologize or i'm staying on your neck creepy means it's just off to me why yeah. you're doing it i didn't say that you know like how so now i'm demanded to give an apology for saying my opinion. Yeah, no. <laughs> I didn't not. think so okay. either. Um, but I did take this other call. Um, but you, um, next session, we can definitely discuss a little bit more there too, okay? Thank you, Miss Trainer. You're welcome. Bye, guys. Have a good day. Oh, just in case y'all think it's not an actual trainer. Good pup. Oh, so how you guys doing now? Of course, yes, you can't say on uh, a session or whatever. I had mental health issues. It'd be a violation of my privacy unless I gave her something in writing. But yeah, she knows. But she's just, you know, you guys really don't know how much me and her talk. Like that was just a regular 30 minute a little bit over 30 minute session, but, uh, some of the times we'll, you know, be on for 45 minutes. She's a very excellent vet tech and trainer. Who is the chick? I need to ask her something about a dog. Oh, Rex, you would, uh, she's a, a woman, but, uh, this is all I will say. She is a beautiful, Asian woman. And she has my respect. Certainly does. She has probably saved me from a crisis with Brownie as far as like, like you know, his stitches, his surgery, you know, like the people that did his surgery didn't give me any instructions. You know, I guess they just figured everybody knows how to take care of a dog, especially a dog that's way past the time of being neutered and only has one ball that dropped and had to have an extensive surgery. Yeah, that was fun. Say it was it fun though, was it brownie? No, it was it. No, it was it. You did good. You said you're good boy. You did so good today. Yes, you did. You want to make that bankroll, Sam? Shit, I'd say get into stock trading. Like Wolf of Wall Street type shit. If you don't mind giving a middle finger to the feds and the uh, 
well, Wall Street, I guess. Or I'd get into what, you know, be a vet tech or dog training, you know. Or if you like the the multi uh, faceted approach, which is what I'm choosing to do, is I'm about to, uh, matter of fact, I have to go. Oh, crap. Yeah, we got to go. As soon as he gets back, I'm going to be ending the stream at 10, guys, because uh, I forgot. I got my appointment today at 11 with school. Almost forgot. But, uh, well, it's not with school. It's with family support, whatever. Because, oh, yeah. Why do I qualify for voc rehab? I don't know. Maybe, maybe because I actually do have health issues. Well, I can't think of any other reason why somebody or why an agency would approve me to go to trade school. $14,000 course completely grant and scot free. Oh, I can't drive a truck, Sam. I can't drive a truck. Uh, um, one, I wouldn't do it because of the wrecks I've had in the past, even though they weren't my fault. I just, uh, I just won't. I've already decided, like I thought about that for a while. But then I had to research it. And with the DOT and federal CDL regulations, there's no way I can, like, I just physically couldn't. Uh, uh, unless I got with a holistic practitioner and had money to figure out a way to get off all this medicine and not have any negative reaction, nor be in agonizing pain or wanting to relapse in addiction, I would never pass the CDL regulations. Say, even if I just uh, quit and gave up my prescription for marijuana. Uh, and just took my RX meds. So they'll never, no company, even if I could get the DOT exemption and the doctor exemption, there's no company that's going to hire, hire me. Not on that medication. No. And that's fine because I'd much rather do something like I'm thinking about doing, which is barbering because not only can I work for a salon or company, I can go into practice with somebody, two people, we have to start a barbershop, whatever. I could start my own thing, you know, so it's a career slash self-employment entrepreneurial opportunity if you do things right in life type of thing. And it's a trade, which is why I'm getting, I'm going for it because I refused to take out a student loan to go to college I was going to college and uh, I had a grant and I had some financial help from a family friend to help me go whenever I had my car wreck during my phlebotomy course which I didn't get to finish before that I paid for while working and got a, a grant for an EMT course and I physically couldn't pass those uh, standards or whatever so you know, I've been to school already twice and uh, because of things and extenuating circumstances, I wasn't able to make it. But I did uh, make a 93 and A in allied health mathematics when I at first was still wondering if I was going to go EMT or nurse route. Yeah, I know uh, we have a small small towns here they don't but like in, you know the, all the big cities and stuff they do and you're always going to need somebody to cut hair you know it's a very hard task to do alone unless you just like giving yourself a good old bald shave you want to come up on screen sam champion <coughs> i got some uh i got a killer deal yesterday <laughs> reward points and got some new stuff I'm going to be testing and trying out soon hold on I don't have a I don't have the link for you to join do I hold on just a second yeah because I had to do my dog training I don't even have YouTube pulled up Mm, 
that's some good. <laughs> ice cream cake. Yeah, ice cream and cake. Ice cream and cake. Look at that. It's that ice cream and cake, Brownie. Are you chewing on a bone? Uh, you just, you go on with that bone. I got, I got mine over here. I think this would be a good time for some music. From the bad, the myth, the legend. Up, church. Get it, boy. Looking ass. <laughs> Tell me y'all don't know who said that. Oh, crap. Does anybody hear that? This is not a test. This is your emergency broadcast system announcing the commencement of the annual purge sanctioned by the U.S. government. Weapons of class four and lower have been authorized for use during the purge. All other weapons are restricted. Government officials of ranking 10 have been granted immunity from the purge and shall not be harmed. Commencing at the siren, any... emergency broadcast system announcing the commencement of the annual purge sanctioned by the U.S. government. Weapons of class four and lower have been authorized for use during the purge. All other weapons are restricted. Government officials of ranking 10 have been granted immunity from the purge and shall not be harmed. Commencing at the siren, any and all crime, including murder, will be legal for 12 continuous hours. Police, fire, and emergency medical services will be unavailable until tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. when the purge concludes. Blessed be our new founding fathers and America, a nation reborn. May God be with you all. I was born in Music City and raised in a country song. I didn't know I lived in a country song until I found my love for music. And when I started writing songs, I realized that my childhood memories transitioned into fully painted pictures of the country through the artist's sound. I come from a place where marijuana leaves and American flags are spray painted on damn near every underpass. Where the longest straightaway in town is the midnight drag strip and where the cornfields still harvest the lust of two young guns in a truck bed listening to the local radio station. <laughs> These songs aren't for everybody. They ain't gotta be for anybody, really. But they're for the country. To pay homage for a southern all-American upbringing that will hopefully live on forever. So long live the South. And long live your neck of the woods, too. Church. <laughs> Newly kicking up dust on a one-lane road Joe Diffie tunes humming out the radio In the night so young as we are right now Sitting frozen in time on the edge of time The water tower says the same thing John Deere Green with the same names A little faded but it still looks good In my neck of the woods, neck of the woods My neck of the woods 
my nigga the There's world. stop signs that I ran through like Mitchell Petty and Daytona. Black marks where I slammed the brakes where that black top first had me on it. Doing 75 in a 35, they got spray in the three off on the side. Jumping out to that cassette tape, yelling country boys, we can't survive. We all wanted to be Duke boys, looking for a Jeep with Daisy in it. Barefoot better since day one, plenty of underpasses with a past in it. Them rope swings ain't been used in 10 years, and that's no lie. But that swimming hole still look ice cold, and this place ain't aged a day in time. Dooley kicking up dust on a one lane road, Joe Diffie tunes humming out the radio. And the night's so young as we all right now, sitting frozen in time on the edge of time. The water tower says the same thing, John Deere Green with the same names. A little faded, but it still looks good. In my neck of the woods, neck of the woods, my neck of the woods. My if I die, you can see the artwork on my skin that tells the life I lived. See the marks I left through all these songs I wrote when I was a kid. And look back at the pictures of these sold out shows across the states when I put these boots up. Yeah, I've danced across a couple dusty states. And I look back at the town and play a record from like 30 back. Play Rolling Stone a couple times and still roll up a joint so fast. I'll be rocking and rolling in a rocking chair made of wood. Looking at the water tower over the hill right by the sun. Newly uh. kicking up dust on a one lane road. Joe Diffie tunes humming. Now the radio in the night so young as we are right now sitting frozen in time on the edge of time the water tower says the same thing john deere green with the same name a little faded but it still looks good in my neck of the woods neck of the woods my neck of the woods in my neck of the woods my neck of the woods my hand of the that football field that we practiced, oh Had that parking lot hopping on a Friday night at Sunday Till the neon lights were down and the field party started In my neck of the woods In my neck of the woods In my neck of the woods My neck of the woods Come on, on up, Sammy. <clears throat> oh, crap. Uh, I got to start getting a well, bit of lazy bee. We didn't holler the boys. Holler if you need me something done. What's up? What's up, brother? I'm up. Copy and laundry, a little bit cleaning. Coca-Cola, dog training, a little bit of cleaning, laundry, too. <laughs> yeah, fuck, I haven't even got dressed yet. Oh, a little bit. A little bit of smoking. Sorry, brother. That tried to do it in front of you. I'm not worried about that. I've still been smoking. I just haven't been smoking oh, as much. Well, maybe you'll like to see these after all. Hold on. <laughs> I just haven't been smoking as much. I'm going to buy, like, a detox flush to get through my system. There's a yeah. You said you got like an ounce. Like, dude, I didn't know dude, that. I got, it. I got, I got it. Th that's a quarter. This is a quarter. This is a quarter. And the other one I've already opened is a quarter. So you know that's an ounce plus two grams of of concentrate dab. Basically, let me show you that. Hold on. Yeah, when I was I buying a bunch, of I don't use I don't use dab that much. Like, 
that's what that that stuff is. Eighty percent. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, when well, I was buying people, stuff, from yeah, a and I'm sure all these people go say, "Oh, you, 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 you robbing your grandpappy blood like old Durkey." No, that came from my money that I earned. Yeah, people. Yeah, dude. When I was buying stuff from a dispensary, I had no idea that they were that I was gaining points. And one day, they're like, "You know, you got like three hundred dollars in points that you can spend." Dude, and I was I, like, "What are you talking I, about?" I, I, I walked in there thinking, like, I'm going to try to, because usually they'll have these deals where they have some, uh, it's called Shake and Smalls, but but it's almost like about a half, it, or not, about a full ounce of Shake and Smalls you can get now for about, like, 125 130 uh, and that's before tax, so I thought that I might get that or just get a, a half ounce for 80 of the popcorn buds that they did have. I walked in there. And then I didn't know even that they had that full ounce yet until I walked in there. And then they told me, um, oh, by the way, you can scan this on your phone. And one dude, when he told me what one dude saved, I was like, you're kidding me. You don't, you don't, you don't mean, I was like, How? I was like, you serious? He's like, I'm serious. So yeah. I decided to go ahead and download the little QR code scanner because I had deleted it before to free up space on my phone. I downloaded it and I pulled that thing up and I got a pin code. And next thing you know, my order, uh, he said, you got $250. I was like, so I can get $250 of stuff for free. He said, nah, for free, you got to spend something. I was like, oh, okay. So what do you mean? He's like, well, I was like, let's say I get this, 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 and this. What is it? He said, well, normally it's like 300 and something dollars, but instead I got it for 120. Yeah. So yeah, I saved I about a good one. Sixty-five bucks at the dispensary, but they're smaller buds. But for sixty-five bucks an ounce is a deal. I don't think it's medical grade. It's just the recreational stuff. Hi, Sam. Yo, appreciate you. Yeah, like I said, I don't people. You know, people have problems with people. You know, but. It, you know, that's their personal issues. Like you're not following the crowd and they're no, and they're giving you shit for it. I just do myself. Like I'm not, you know, you till you backstab me, I'm I have nothing and you know I've as long as you're not talking bad any of these no Life Mike, you know, because I, I really do like No Life Mike and that. But Dude, you know, I don't I, like No I, Life Mike too, and I don't hold anything against him. Take no, the only problems you've had with no life Mike are people that had personal problems with you. You know, you never had a problem with Mike and the No Life Gang. It's just personal people that have jumped in other people's lives talking stuff. Like I seen it yesterday. I didn't like it. I was like, I've seen people coming in your lives saying, How are you doing? I care about blah blah blah. And then they went in other people's lives and they're like, I just can't stand square no more. And I'm like, Well, then why the fuck are you going in his life and saying you fucking care about him? Like what the fuck? Like, and I, you know, these are people that they never care about, about me about. superficially. They care about me superficially, meaning they care to know what direction I'm heading. Is it down? If or they're up? watching, I don't give a shit. You know, it's like, dude, I don't have respect for people that are two faced like that. I'm sorry. Uh, Just like Lee oh. Hillbilly came on, Lee Hillbilly went on talking about his fight. And then I seen somebody comment, Oh, yeah, I just how is he doing? Lee. Dude, how is he doing, man? Like, what? I was in that live for a little bit, but you know how, like, it's nothing against Lee, but sometimes, uh, I guess the chat and everything, I don't know. I, it, no, it's not Lee. It's me. I've got a, a short attention span sometimes with some videos and stuff, but uh, I didn't stay in there long, but I, I told him I hope that he felt better and stuff. Like, what the hell yeah, happened? He sent me some pictures I really last didn't night. stay in there long. He was pretty people. beat up. I mean... He got kicked right in the fucking eye by this dude, and you could tell it, it, he had a hell of a headache from it. That's for sure. But he'll he'll live. He, you know, it's not the first time he's been hit like that. So I mean, I've been punched like that quite a few times. I mean, I've dude, had. Half I my had people. People aren't going to believe this. But I had my brace on my right leg from when I broke my femur and had a rod in it after the, that wreck with those people that unfortunately passed away as a result of the wreck. And I was, I ain't gonna lie, I was not in the right place. I was not doing something on the up and up. 
But let's put it this way. I was in active addiction. And not only that, I just suffered one of the biggest traumatic things I'd ever had happen in my life. So supposedly, let's just make a long story short. I went to meet up with somebody. And I was driving a 2016 brand new Jeep Grand Cherokee. I should have been a little bit more forward thinking about everything, knowing that people see me in this new vehicle and stuff, and they know what just happened and was in the news. They're probably wondering that I got some money. And so they 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 really fooled me. Like I, I want to speak 100 on exactly what happened word for word, but I'm just not going to give anyone that ammo or nothing to uh, spin or use. But let's just put it this way. I went to meet somebody who told me they wanted some money for me. And we agreed upon something, made a deal. And I went there. And instead, I got taken away from my car, away from my friend that was with me, alone in a vehicle with three others, while I had a cane and a fucking brace on my leg and could barely walk. And just sitting there all of a sudden, in the back seat, all of a sudden, the dude right next to me, wham, just hits me, wham, hits me again, gets me down, gets up through my pockets, grabs the cash. I exactly took, I, good thing I only took exactly what I was taking because it was yeah. $1,200. Wow. And then they just pushed me out with my cane and my brace. They didn't care if they rebroke my leg or nothing. They just pushed me oh, right out. I believe it, man. <laughs> People do shit for money. It's unbelievable. I've watched people in my town get jumped for 200 bucks. I know what people will do, man. I seen people so overdose. People know why, people, if people want to know why, and if you want to know here, I'll tell you here right now, Square ain't going to no event because Square don't trust any of the people that might be going to the event. Not the people setting it up or nothing. So don't get all butthurt about it. But no, you'd have to pay me a lot and be willing to sign some other documents as well if you're going to have me come. <clears throat> yeah, I don't... I would go to some events if I had a vehicle, but it's 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 going to be hard to just drive. I done told Shane, why don't he show up? I, 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 did you catch that live? Or Because I, I went over there and Shane had said, oh, man, you should have... Well, instead of just releasing that one audio file, you should have played the whole conversation. Well, I did. I showed the whole mother truck up. And guess what, Shane? There was no unsent message before. You just randomly popped up and said that shit that you said. Why? Because you wanted to make me size you up a certain way. You know what I did? I just ignored it. And then yeah. you had to go on two months later and keep fucking with me and fucking with me and fucking with me. Well, that's why it's released. But notice, yeah. I took it down, too. Uh, you ain't yeah, going to call me no liar. I can't believe I'm at like 105 subs right now. Dude, that 50 cent video is up to like 20,000 views, and it's gained me 25 subscribers. Like, it's crazy. That's what's up, man. Congratulations. Yeah, my most highest view. Like it for you. I was like, holy I'll fuck. I'll check out this. Days. My favorite shirt. One of them, man. Nirvana. Yep. I could tell right away. I couldn't even see the name, but. Didn't Nirvana's lead guitar singer die? Say that. Say that again. I can't hear you. Didn't Nirvana's lead guitar player die? Or was it their singer? Fucking uh, Kurt Cobain. I haven't. I'm not too well. Yeah, Kurt yeah, Cobain's been dead for a long, long time. Ago. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know about recently though. I, I'm not too up to date with the fan news, but my dad no. was in in a band and he was a lead drummer. And uh, matter of fact, I had I need to repost it, public it. Uh, my uh, dad's song "Time Stand Still" that's dedicated to my great grandmother that he made. Like, it's a really cool 80s rock with the keyboard in the background type of song. It's a really nice song. Yeah, it was uh, back when Kurt Cobain was for Nirvana. 
Man, I'm catching like a mug on one part. These damn mosquitoes, bro. They are tearing me and my yeah. dog up. <laughs> yeah, dude, we got my, mosquitoes my dog bad. Takes a, my dog gets a 200 uh, milligram pill he takes once a month, and it keeps all the ticks and fleas off him. And he's been fine the whole time. Then mosquito season pops around. I see him start to scratch. I'm like, oh, shit. They getting you bad, ain't they, bud? Yeah, we get mosquitoes bad around here. Say, I just so, hate them mosquitoes. I just hate them. They slap one of them fuckers on me, and they splatter. I'm like, damn, that fucker sucked on me for a while. Your dog was listening pretty damn good, though. Oh, yeah, my dog. I love it. Yeah. I love Big so dude. What kind of dog is that? Then my mom had the same kind of dog, but it he's a chip Pomeranian. pit. Chip he, pit. No, he's a he's a chip pit. He's he's majority Chihuahua and the lesser majority is American Pit Bulldog Terrier, along with some Yorkshire Terrier. He's not Yorkshire. Pomeranian. My my ex wife dogs was Pomeranian. Is there Pomeranians that look like your dog though? Because I think that's what my mom's was. No, Pomeranians got a lot longer hair and around their, you know, they almost kind of look like a mini husky sort of in a way. My dog was, a more, my dog was more like curly haired kind of, short curly haired like yours and it had that kind of like little, well, I don't know, like the well, same face. Right here, I'll, I'll, let me show you his genetic, I'm going to put here on his, uh, on, on the video, I'll show you his uh, DNA results because I had them done. Oh, me. But Man, he ended up having to got me good last night on the leg. But we just found out three months ago, my mom's dog had a tumor and they had to put it to sleep. He passed away right after my dad's dog passed away because they were best friends. I'm sorry. And it just tore up my mom's dog. You could tell, like, he knew every day that he wasn't there anymore. Our next door neighbor had talked about putting their dog down. I don't even like thinking or hearing about it, really, because and it'll come off selfish, but I just, I, I can't bear to think about that with my pet. I just can't. Because nope. he's not just my, he's he's not my pet. He's, that that's my the son. Friend. Yeah. Well, that's he, what my dog Yeah, he's my best friend. But before he's my friend, he's my son, he's my baby. I take care of him. He's in my, my charge. You rescued him, man. Eh? Yep. Our dog came from well, an he, he technically rescued himself by whimpering behind me, but yes. Uh, let me it's do this. hard to get my mom's dog to like me because it came from such an abusive home. It took a real long time. Look, uh, that's Brandon right real? there. That's his, uh, that's his genetics result. It's, you can see, 53% Chihuahua, 24%. American Pit Bulldog Terrier, 6% Yorkshire Terrier, 16% of Super Mutt. And uh, I can go down and show you. Like, see here, drug sensitivity and intervertebral disc disease. That's because of his long, see how long his back is? That's from his uh, yeah. genetics, his mix of genetics. Because every time he gets up, he has to stretch uh, this part of his back. Yeah. So this 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 genetics test is spot on, um, but I'm glad those are the only health issues he has. But I was going to show you his uh, his ancestor. Let let you see what this super mutt means. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say I never seen that. Super mutt sounds cool. What's in the super mutt? There may be all amounts of DNA from. From these distant ancestors, Poodle, Small, Llewellyn, Setter, Setter, and Adat and Adat Adashin. Oh, okay. so he's a Dutch mix. He, he's he's got some of those DNA in him too. Nice. Setter and Labs are a good mix. Yeah, but the majority not... is, which warms my heart and makes me think almost like it makes me want to think that my Mimi. Uh, caused us to meet because my Mimi had a Chihuahua for me when I was little, but she couldn't, she didn't end up keeping it long and I didn't, you know, and I really loved that dog. I never got to have a, a dog when I was a kid. 
and it, I probably might have actually had a little bit of a better childhood uh, on some issues with it, with the dog, you know, with, with something like that. Because what I tried to get pushed into was I tried to get pushed into playing baseball, which I hated, hated yeah, baseball because I broke I, I broke a kid's nose one time throwing the ball. Oh, so after that experience, I yeah, and I, and I started balling after I <laughs> after blood came out of his nose. Because I'm not a violent person at all. I took a baseball right to the mouth before. Somebody hit the baseball when they pitched it to him, and it came flying and hit me right in the mouth. I never liked it after that. Well, that's what I did. I was pitching, and I, I was telling and telling and telling them, like, I don't want to pitch. I don't want to pitch. I don't want to pitch. And they said, no, no, you're going to get up there and pitch. So I got up there, and I pitched. And the first time it was a, a, the first time it was a strike, the second one I pitched, it was a foul or I mean, a ball, whatever. And then when I threw it again, I threw it and I threw it straight, too straight towards him, I guess. And it just went right at his face. I mean, and it just, mm -hmm. boom, right at the nose. Mm -hmm. And I just, I just dropped my glove and I said, I told y'all, I told, I was crying, but I was like, I was like, oh my God, you know. Like I was crying because he had gotten hurt. Like I was like, look at where this shit has went. All, you know, and I told him a thousand times I didn't want to play this stupid sport. No offense to people that love baseball. Like my grandpa loves baseball. I buy him baseball stuff. Yeah, but when I you're like, younger, they kind of force you. I, I like ba game. I like baseball stuff sometimes in games. Uh, I watched the tw 2006 World Series at a a church party, but I don't like playing it. I'd much rather play basketball or soccer. I'm thinking of going back really, to the And I wasn't like no good at basketball. Friends. My grandpa's good at basketball. I'm not, but I was good. I was okay at soccer at least. I was good at like the non-physical sports like pool, horseshoes, cribbage, like Can I you notice now that we're that. talking in here, it's dropped down to just five people. Do you notice that? No, I um, don't even look at the comments unless I see something new pop up or something. But I don't. I'm not. I'm just here to bullshit with you. And somebody in the chat wants to talk. More power to them. If they don't, oh well. Yep. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me none. Well, man, uh, if, if you wanted to, uh, I don't know. I guess if you got your own thing, you're gonna do. That's cool. But uh, no, I don't have nothing. Maybe that. I guess I gave you that website. You know, I just got a, an invite from uh, that man that made that herbal detox formula I told you about that they still make yeah. for his, his business. I just got a link to look at his, uh, to like his Facebook page for his burial site. You know, like he's been honored, dude. Like people don't understand. He's helped people. And I have to say this before I say it. This is not medical advice. Do not take this as any type of thing. This is for educational, informational purposes only. Consult your professional for any type of advice. This is for entertainment and educational purposes only. But Art Henson has personally, with the help of his therapies and stuff that people do for themselves, that he guides them in, people have healed themselves from diabetes, all types of different conditions. And, uh, I'm going to put this link in the page. It's a Facebook link so people can look him up and everything. Uh, you can, it's got his name and you can find his, it's a picture of him with his book that I read here on the live before. It's uh here. Let me show you. I don't know if you can see that, but this is sovereign land artist, Eugene Henson burial. So I, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to type the link, and I'm gonna copy and paste it into the YouTube chat. Okay. Yeah, I, I used to like my friend used to order these oils, and we could make our own oil capsules, and I actually liked them. I forgot yeah, all. So, so the essential oils that he that the process he used is based on an old process that a uh, a wise man in the old days of the 1500s used. For the same type of uh, healing and helping people, it, it, it's one hundred percent distilled or raw distilled whatever 
concentrated essential oil formulas based upon your astrological date of birth and name profile that he gets and that those people get from this ancient knowledge. That's why it's tried and true, and that's why it works. The guy that passed away that used to do this, that I knew and spoke to on the phone, he told me, like, in his book, there he found it was quite odd that his birthday or whatever is the same parallels this guy named Nicholas Culpepper who did the exact same thing in the 1500s. So you can read all about it yourself. Like, uh, yeah, let, I'm sorry, Sam, if I've been interrupting you. Excuse me. No, you're, dog. Good. you're good. It's all good. I'm just trying to get that information out there about yeah, why the video is titled that. Live Dietetics. You said that he does essentials that could help me flush weed out of my system. Yeah, the uh, or the general, the the one that works for everybody. Yeah, I want to try that, but you got to put the link. Uh, or you text me the link on my phone. Well, I just put the Facebook link for his page. Let me um put his website page again in the in the in the link so if anybody wants to check him out call him verify anything that i'm talking about they can do it don't have to take my word for it yeah see i can't click on no link so i'll just have you text it to me no no um if you uh before i end the stream i'll have you go out and get back in the chat and um oh. But I'll text it to you too. I'll text yeah. you his uh. I'll text you the number too. But I'm I'm posting it for the viewers as well. So I'm gonna call the guy if he's got something that works. Dude, I'm still failing for benzodiazepines on my drug test. Twenty two days later, fucking crazy. Yeah, you know, and that, and this is the thing. These people saying that it's. it's it's not depending upon your body chemistry, uh, your reaction to drugs and your drug addiction history. It is perfectly okay, though can be a little dangerous to be on benzodiazepines with Subutex. And but keep, in mind, keep in mind, I'm on a four milligram dose of Ativan. I'm not taking a Xanax bar a day or two or three or four or five. I've never even taken a Xanax bar. See, my so, doctor had me on Valium for my, because every time I went in, my heart rate was so fucking high in my pulse rate that he put me on Valium, even even being on Suboxone, because some people just need different things. Like, it's dangerous, I, but that's up to me to make sure I take it as prescribed and not abuse it. Yeah, I mean, the only way it can be dangerous is if you're abusing, like, the, the hold on. Or the subject, whatever, along with the endodiazepine, and you're doing it in like, you know, shit. Like the doctor can't hold my hand all the way through treatment. Like, they, you know, you got to trust yourself that you're going to do things right with your meds. And this is how I'm abusing meds because all my. My drug test gets sent to the lab so they get all the results. They can see the levels so they know if I'm abusing anything or not. Yeah, I was on that for the first year, too. But uh, like when I was in Massachusetts, I was under all that. I got tested weekly at the sober house. Uh, I got um, lab results done every time I went in for another bridge script or refill or whatever you call it. But that was when I was under the care of a Suboxone doctor, which I guess people forget that they have to be a psychiatrist. They have to be, even if they don't do psychiatry as a normal thing, they have to be a psychiatrist to prescribe it. Because a psychiatrist is the highest level of a doctor you can be. I used to see a psychiatrist. <clears throat> now I just see a regular doctor. But that's not only are they trained in Ford. Not only do they have the MD training, but they also have the mental health training, which regular MDs do not. They just have a general knowledge of. 
Dude, I didn't know insurance can put a cap on the amount of limit that you can spend under state insurance. Lee was talking about it yesterday that his insurance might cut him off his suboxone because he capped his insurance out at like a hundred grand or something. I didn't know that. Well, that's, that sucks for that state because uh, luckily, after two years of applying and going for a psychologist exam for Medicaid and everything else, I finally randomly get a letter in the mail the other day. Uh, and then after, right after that, I got my uh, Missouri Medicaid card in. You got and social so now, disability? Now? Yes. No, I, 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 I tried to apply for it when I first came back home, but then something, and after something decided in me, I needed to go to work. So I decided to go to work and uh, I went back into caregiving. And then later on, I did some other side stuff. I delivered pizza, uh, worked at a re- hibachi restaurant i uh did lift driving which was my most recent job that i had uh well no actually pizza hut was before that i did lift driving in memphis tennessee and uh then my car started having issues and i had to get it, get it serviced and we realized it was about time to sell it while it still had value after uh, getting serviced and fixed so we fixed it up and we sold it and uh since then, I haven't been driving or working. I've been worrying and focusing on getting into school. But because of my years of being on 24-hour call, even when I was an active addiction, I was a quote-unquote so-called functioning addict. I still, when I got called at the drop of a hat to come into work, I went into work. That's one thing I can say. Yeah, me too. But I had to I had to stop working for a couple of months because I had to just focus on getting better. And because I was working and I was always an active addict, I could work, pay my bills and still afford my drugs. But I've, I've been on Suboxone for like 20 years, but I had so many times in my 20 life. Years? I using my, yeah, 20 years. Yeah, I've been on it since I've been 20 years old. Think, I'm 35. See, that's what people don't understand, like why that I. Not to cut you off, but like that, that just confirms to me what not just my psychiatrist, but my even the doctor that was just a sub doctor told me. She said, with your chronic pain issues and stuff, she said, you'll probably go back home and be on a long term plan. You know, you're, you won't be on a maintenance therapy anymore. And she was right. I came back home. And ever since I've been back home, I've been, they surprised, uh, I got surprise tested one time and, complied and ever since then i haven't been tested again but they could test me any day i'd pass yeah i've been on suboxone for 20 years i was on suboxone before anybody even knew what it was but there's been times in my life i would stop taking it for a couple months or i'd use the benzodiazepines and ritalin and adderall or meth because you can use a lot of drugs on it they just got to be stimulants so i didn't use the suboxone but i took a bunch of other drugs with it I had told my doctor here a while back, um, I said, uh, you know, I'm not really taking two every, or three every day. I said, I'm getting by on two most days. And she said, well, that's yeah. good. And I said, it's but good. I have days where I really do have to take that third one because I'm already taking the max amount of Tylenol and I don't want to have a bad liver when I get older, even though I'm already going to have one just from having to take the daily Tylenol. See, I can't take NSAIDs. I can't believe you're on that oh, much Tylenol like with it, though. That's a lot. Like, I was on, I take three ibuprofen 800s a day, and that's a lot. That's 2,400. I, I take two extra strength Tylenols three times a day. Well, that ain't for, bad, then, again. It ain't bad. For a breakthrough pain, basically. I mean, I'll take five ibuprofen some days. But my eyes, like, I used to take so many Laura Tab 10s, my eyes would go from blue See, to green. But see, that's the thing, Sam. I can't take a, I, I can't take a Advil ibuprofen. The shit makes me break out in rashes. Yeah. All well, up hey, and down my arms and my stomach. Well, not only you that, know it tears, works for you. It tears my stomach up. Like I, I even got called out on it like one time, and I, just to show them, I said, "All right," I said, "Give me a baby aspirin." And I took a baby aspirin. And they saw the effects. And they said, no, you can't do that. I said, I can do whatever I want. It's my, it's my choice. 
Yeah. If you're going to call me, you're basic, cause, but basically they were hinting at they didn't really believe me that when I said that I was allergic to NSAIDs. I'm not really allergic, but I break out and it hurts like hell. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine because I wouldn't want to break out, man. Fuck that. <laughs> no fucking way. Why is the fucking host door wide? Hey, have you ever, um, do you take flu shots every year? If you don't no. mind me asking? I stopped taking flu shots. I didn't know if they worked or not. I, I don't take them either. Because uh, every year that I got one, I'd get the flu. Yeah, yeah that's exactly it. I'll get sick like two weeks after getting the shot. Not even. I was really uh, hesitant on taking the COVID vaccine, but I went ahead and got it. I did it for the sake of my grandma. Yeah, I did it for the sake of others, basically. Yeah. I took the Johnson and Johnson one shot formula. The John- oh, I had the Moderna. Okay. Yeah, they had about three different types of them. I guess. Yeah, they had the Fitzer and Fitzer, Moderna, Johnson and Johnson. Think of the money them businesses made off of that vaccine, not even knowing that it worked 100%. No, and uh, I've had somebody that's my age that just died here recently of quote unquote a COVID strain or COVID related type of symptoms. And there's a, there's a documentary out there in videos that say that the solution in the vaccines causes the blood to coagulate in some type of certain setting like it's like some of the mRNA or something is derived from snake venom or it acts like snake venom something about that have you heard about that uh no I don't think I have I heard something something weird about it but I didn't really look into it I saw that in about 2,000 mules at the same time and you know they just raided Trump's estate and it's funny that and it's funny that that happened just after the Alex Jones uh, trial and uh, leak Alex Jones is uh, own attorney can you imagine dude being an attorney and you leak not what just was requested in the subpoena or order but you leaked all of the other text and unrelated conversations that dealt with other stuff to somebody that turns them into the federal government. I would have fired that dude on the spot. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Trump's in trouble, dude. You can't cult classify documents out of the fucking White House. I don't know if he is because they said they didn't find anything. Somebody did here in the chat the other night. And he's not the first person. He's not the first president to take stuff out the White House, especially with the Clintons. They not only took stuff out, they played little pranks on the new president moving in. Did you hear about that from the Clinton era? Uh Uh-uh. Oh, yeah. They stole a bunch of stuff out the White House. They. When the Bushes came in, they completely. They they did some petty petty stuff dude and all because probably, he, all all because he got impeached because he got caught cheating yeah that's crazy like so he had an affair big fucking deal oh wait didn't she claim that he touched her inappropriately or something i don't know what monica claimed i just know that i always heard the jokes about monica's lewinsky's black dress with the white stain on it brownie <laughs> with the white stain on that's fucking great uh clinton go bill clinton go he was a good president too oh no i said something bad about a woman i'm fixing to lose some subscribers it's not like people dog men every day man i lose subscribers all the time i just i just don't even care like, if you don't like me you know you want me to be myself and you want me to be me well you know if you don't like it well what, what can i tell you you know i not good. I'm not here to please. That wasn't directed anybody. towards you, Sam, or the viewers. That's directed towards the people in here screen recording and shit. Yeah, I screen record all you want. 
I don't know. I just, I've been seeing certain people come in your lives and other people's lives saying, oh, I'm your friend. I've been here forever. It's like, motherfucker, you were just talking shit last week saying this, you know, like, like, what the fuck? I'm like, it makes me think that they would do the same thing to me. They'll sit there and say they're my friend, they're my family, and then turn around and stab me in the back. All because, what? I wanted to talk to you. I don't want to fucking talk to you. I'm going to talk to you. You know, just because them, they don't like you, that ain't my fucking problem. You know, you're not I out there saying, oh, I hate the No Life Mike gang. I hate everybody in it. It would be a different story then, but you're not saying that. No, I'm not. Hey, right. Rebecca, who are you and that? Who are you? Are you? Who are you? Swear on, swear on something that you're not canine rescue or be. No, I seen a Rebecca around. I've seen a Rebecca around for a while. You sure? Yeah. Well, I I don't know exactly who she is, but I've seen her around on the channel for a while. She's always been nice, kind. I never seen her talk shit. She's always been good. So. I'm trying to find this uh, video I want to show you. It's I laugh at them now. Dude, I can't believe my video got 20,000 views, man. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> Dude, I'm at like 105 subscribers now, and I was just at 80-something. I was like, holy shit. Dude, my other 50-cent video is already up to 2,500 views. Do you see that video I posted of that car accident, that 100-car pileup showing semis running into other cars, just demolishing them? Holy shit, dude. It's crazy. No, I did not see that. I'm going to have to repost the video on my fucking thing. Dude, it's nuts. I've never seen anything like it. I mean, you see full-on semis coming 80 miles an hour, smashing through three cars, people flying out the fucking windows. It's like, wow. It's insane. And I only got one view on it. I was like, whatever. but So I deleted it, but I'm going to repost it back up. Because I think it's interesting. Like, it's, i never seen anything like it. But I'm always out there Hold trying on. to find new stuff on the news, though. I try to find different content than just picking on people. I know. that's To me, that's boring. I don't want to pick on anybody, people. but if there's somebody that's abusing people, well, that's or defending people or stuff, then like I, I support that. Just like the whole cash app situation, like I got my cash app on, everybody else that's... keep their cash app on. Why can't people have a cash app and ask people to donate to their channel? I don't understand. Osama it. bin Square. Yeah, I've seen that one. Yeah, I watched real it. Deal, Just you uh, dancing. Real deal, are you going to take that video down, I hope? Fuck no, he ain't. No, he should. He's the uh, real deal's been talking to me offline. He's been, he seems solid. You know, if once he takes it down, somebody else is going to post it. You know, because that basically makes me, that, that basically shows almost like I'm disrespecting the Islamic faith. <laughs> no. That's I like saying whole, whole 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 bunch, I have a whole bunch of Muslim friends. It's evident with the Somalian girl in the other video with me. Yeah, it doesn't say anything like, you know, you're just, you got something like that would mean anybody with a rebel flag in the background, people just assume are racist. Like everything has a different meaning to somebody. That's your beliefs, I, your opinions. You're allowed to have them. I, it's no one's business. But yeah, when I was young, I had a crisis of faith. And when I met all these Muslims who I had been here in America told that, you know, they're bad people and whatnot and been given the propaganda. Well, when I met them, they were not bad to me. And oh, so, you know, I even pondered, you know, I, 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 I thought I was, you know, going to become, <laughs> you know, a Muslim or whatever. You know, change my faith, but you know, then everybody has crises of faith sometimes. So sometimes you get into other religions. You want to learn about them. What's Nothing you know the deal that. with them? I'm thinking about getting into church again, just because it's a new way for me to make decent friends that are sober 
and that wouldn't just use me or be two faced or lie and backstab and me. You, you you got that right. Hey, look at this. Hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you these. Uh, I know you probably seen them, but I love to watch them and laugh at them. I'm not dabs. <laughs> I don't know who the fuck Dabs is, but I'm not fucking Dabs. Hey, what's up? I'm not fucking Dabs. Finally, I got proof that I'm talking to you on the chat. Look, my hands are in the air. That wasn't me. (laughs) That is not me. So please, people, stop saying I'm him. I'm not. Rejected clowns. Some some people have said that. Some some people have said that I'm the real I'm the real deal. And you know what? They say that because they know it's going to bother you and, say, and you'll say something about it. Dude, this video is legend. I can't believe somebody made it. I need to know if this channel maker is a real person or not. I've calmed down, but I, I still don't. What's wrong with my dog, yo? <laughs> I don't know. Why they they made it look like I knocked him. They made it look like he got knocked out or something. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't like that people make fun of you because you're meds either. Like th- that's a serious situation because I'm on meds the same as yours, just not mine subox and not subutex. Like, like I don't have any problem, real deal, with you having these vids posted or anything else, or even me dancing in that one, but not the, uh, not the ones with me underage, man. Uh, Good afternoon, Rebecca. Little Robbie Red Dawn, Red Drum Dawn. I'm up in the square. I want to say hi to everybody in the chat. I do see your guys's comments. I see you. Yeah, I thought that animation that was pretty cool that somebody went out of their way to make an animation. Oh, watch this. They made two about Red. When he's talking to Iceman and something else. Hold on, watch this one. That's what I was trying to say. I think a lot of your problems, Iceman, stems from you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's talk about the fact that you kept on browbeating me because I was catfish. Let's talk about that. Nobody came oh, to my defense. Catfish? Nobody. Yeah, he was catfished. I came to your defense. What are you talking about nobody? Nobody came to my defense. Nobody. That's right. Nobody came to my defense. I nobody. did. You know, I mean, I, I, I don't get where he comes off and nobody came to his defense. A whole bunch of people came to his defense. Uh, Some people say things in the heat of the moment. Who the heck is trying to call me? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Stop calling. But I get spam calls. I swear. No, hell, I got text now numbers texting and calling me sending me uh threats uh trying to get me to talk to them probably trying to get me to you know, trying to set up their own little version of a sting operation or some shit i don't know what they're trying to do why would people go out their way to fucking do that to somebody dude that's ridiculous no, it's man sick. i don't understand it's sick I mean, I, I actually probably got an idea why it stems from fear of wrong actions, you know, but that I'm sorry. Hell, we've all made wrong actions and we all got to suffer the consequences, don't we? Have we ever, dude, I've made more wrong actions than anybody will ever know about on here. People probably wouldn't even like me. But you ain't going to set me up. I don't know why. These people aren't going to set me up in no type of way and think that they're going to magically get away with those wrong actions. (laughs) They think that's the case. They got another thing coming. Love you, Army Vet, if you're listening. Talking about Rebel. Yeah, now, Rebel, I I ain't got no problem with Rebel. But literally, like, just watch this. (laughs) 
Hold on, these damn videos. Freaking internet. Actually, it's probably the best. I say nothing. I don't know why Triple T is going to say Apparently, Triple T <laughs> said something about Rebel playing a racist song or quote unquote racist oh, old song. He played it. To, uh, to Sin. Or not Sin. I don't I'm, know why. Triple I'm sorry. Uh, Iceman, not Sin. Correct that. Oh. Strike it. Something about Rebel. <laughs> Actually, it's probably the best. I say nothing at all. Hey, because. No Life Mike. No Life Mike, what's up, buddy? Did you see that shit, dude? 20,000 views on my video. I'm at 100 and something that, subs. That's what he said. He said congrats that's to you, man. It's awesome. No Life Mike is the man. I'll be in your live hope, in a little bit. Hope you're doing good, man. Yeah, I'm fixing to be going off here in a second. Thank you, Rebecca. I hope you have a good yeah, day, that- too. Thanks, Rebecca. You have a great day as well, hon. I didn't know he made one about fucking Carolina Rebel. Well, he included Rebel in it. They're mostly about Reaper talking about... Uh, he says, he, he says uh, the drama is getting exhausting. Oh, really? It is? Okay, well... Why aren't you talking, or why are you going along, Reaper, with all these people who have been, oh, because it's just a joke, and I just need to lighten up. Yeah, well, that may be the case if that was the case, but if you think that's the case, well, I'm not even going to argue with you anymore about it. No Life Mike! What up, brother? Yeah, thank you, No Life Mike, for blessing me with the view. The life, thank you for coming by, man. Are we showing that? I love. hope he Man, knows. Like, like, I, I, I hope he knows. I never had any issue with him or not. Mike, check out Lee Hillbilly's movie. Man, he got in a fight yesterday, and some dude kicked him right across the face. He got a big yeah. ass black eye. Yeah, I prayed for way last night. When you talk about somebody's mama, you don't talk about somebody's mama. They're gonna, especially Lee. You can tell Lee would fuck somebody up. <laughs> I know I would fuck somebody up to talk about my mom. Uh, well, my mom's dead, so now yeah, I, I think Lee, now I think Lee's got a. Didn't you say he said something about me? Huh, Lee? Yeah, Lee said yeah. that he would that Lee loves you, and that Lee said he would take a black eye for you any day of the week. Well, what do y'all know? Now, why don't y'all go ahead and try to corrupt Lee now, huh? Of yep, course, they're going to stop. Now, all these people that have been doing this that you've been seeing, Sam, watch. They're going to stop now. They're going to stop. It's just all going to magically go away. The The videos will probably stay up on some, but they're just going to. Well, Danny's not. Apparently, he's on my neck for saying that it was creepy, him calling me a little boy. Bro, you want to be on this neck so bad? You know where I live. Like, Herbal, I seen you in Lee's chat, Herbal, yesterday. And then I seen you turn around and go in Bird's chat and say oh, that yeah, you Herbal. just seen Lee's eye and you think you don't, you know, you said it looks real. What do you mean it looks real? You were in Lee's live when he posted that he just got home from a fight. And you're going to second uh, question Lee? Like, yeah, Herbal Warehouse, we're calling you out now, too, for your fakeness, man. You want to say that I'm your version of Durkey? You want to say I'm your version of Durkey? Piss off, dude. Piss off. I don't care Jim if that hurts Army Vet feelings or nothing. Herbal, I am not your Durkey, and you can kiss my ass. You apologized to me before, and if you think I don't still have that video, you're wrong. He said you're his version of Durkey. <laughs> yeah. Bullshit. Yeah, that's what I was saying about people being two-faced. Like, don't come in somebody's live and pretend to talk shit. And I and then... actually gave that son of a bitch a wrench. No, there's I a tried. difference between somebody kind of picking at, like, having fun with the situation. Like, you and know, like. I fucking your fucking baggins <laughs> with it immediately. You know. Dude, I can't believe Scooter made a video of you. That's awesome. I wish Scooter would fucking tear into me someday. <laughs> Actually, no, I don't. Uh, 
<laughs> I'll, I'll regret what I say on <laughs> about scooter wagons. But well, I didn't. Uh, I get the last thing was a parody, and I appreciate him uh, making it a parody. Uh, but the stuff I was saying in there or whatever, it definitely wasn't no act or parody. Um, and some of the things in the other video, you know, they were inaccurate. But uh, especially that text message about me calling stealth and blue and then fake. I never sent that text message. It's so, like all these people apologizing to Johnny Gobble. It's like, man, that motherfucker's got a lot of making up to do in my book. Helping some flood victims is not making up all the wrong he did giving him a wrench and everything else and then but oh but they but they liked that video from no offensive comedy when he called him and they ain't got no problem with him uh you know you know because remember it's just comedy right but you know i got i would get if it's comedy if he said it once twice but i mean he kept saying it over and over and over calling him a kid blank 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 and uh and even on one of the comments in there one of the People think, can you imagine being the gobbler himself in this comment section and laughing about a guy literally calling you a kid, blah, blah, blah. Like, I mean, he like he literally he thinks he's all in the cool club. That's why I like Mike 12 point is Mike 12 point still been showing his, his shit. <laughs> I was in a, I was in straight shootings live and Mike 12 point came up and talked to me in straight shooting. It was fucking awesome. Unless he takes down all the old bids and makes a full apology to Upchurch and his family, as well as YouTube as a whole and everybody that's went through all this shit, I don't think he's changed at all. I think he's just rearranged what he's doing. Yeah, he's just trying to be a smart scammer. <laughs> Fucking... Uh... Who knows? Gonna I, I, if and, he, if you're Johnny Gobble... Johnny you Gobble just Mr. Gobble. He needs to drop the charges against Keith Frazier and his son for the day he walked out to the police station, bumped into them, and then filed charges against them. Amen. Amen. And Mr. Frazier knows that I was watching out for him and I knew that that was bullshit because I sent, I, I talked to Mr. Frazier a little bit on YouTube and stuff, and uh, I sent him something when he was acting up because, uh, yeah, it's clear even from the video that JG first uploaded and I guess took down, I don't know, that he bumped into that dude. It's freaking clear as day. He started that shit. And so all you people cool with him, but like you're not cool with me. I know you're not cool with him. You're just trying to get him buttered up and hoping that he'll come out to that event. He ain't coming, y'all. I'll go ahead and answer that for you right now. No, he he's is trying not to get coming. him to look good, and then when he turns around and fucks up, they're going to make fun of him for it. If he goes and nothing happens or whatever, like out of the ordinary, and everything's all lovey-dovey, I will not ever trust or believe nothing out of anyone's mouth. Again, any, I mean, I'll just, I think I'll just leave if that happens. Peace. He's on the chat. Cold ass. Do you know Rob how Dabs man. is how the last dude you made 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 and made a vid of you? I don't care, Cold <laughs> Ash Rider, and you can get gone. You now. are the weakest link. You are the Goodbye. weakest link. <laughs> uh the Boone County mating call. Come and get it, ladies. <laughs> it's my daily Here's my I'm first sub of the day Oh wait look It's 10.15am Here's my first sub Let me show you I only Just got so you three know. days left Here's my other two But guess what One of them is from leftover yesterday So I'm going to try just to take these two And hopefully not this third one What do you mean I thought you were going to sell me that third one <laughs> There's some fucking and shit your dreams. Yeah, I know. I don't sell my shit. Dude, anything I got left over, I save. Because I never know when I'm going to need it one day. I used to go to the methadone clinic. 
Dude, the first time I went to a clinic, they gave me 120 milligrams of liquid methadone. They phoned me in my car in their parking lot, passed out. They're like, I think we need to lower your dose. <laughs> I was like, huh? I was like, what? <clears throat> well, being this 1015, and uh, I got to start prepping to uh, go to this meeting at 11. Sam, I appreciate you being on the stream with me today, dude. Yeah. And I'm going to talk to you <laughs> offline, okay? All right. And uh, yeah. send, us, send us out. Send us out, Sam. Send us out. You got to send me that link for the natural oils. Got anything else to say? Something creative. Send us out. Send us out. Love everyone in the chat. Whoever's still here. Much love. I'm coming over, Mike. I'm on my way, brother. I'll talk with you later, Squirt. <laughs>